Greetings, 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 and welcome to another edition of Community Forum. Glad to have you with me. Don't want to waste your time. Just want to talk to you a little bit about time. Uh, we said we were going to do a part two from the initial one that we did, but we're going to do a few parts to time because it's so significant, in my opinion, uh, that we go into it. You know, we told, we last time we said time dictates agenda. It di dictates your agenda. It dictates my agenda. It dictates all of our agenda. But there can be, you know, we said time is synonymous with life. And there could be no, how can I say it? There could be no life or no time without knowledge. Now, let me say it to you like this. Keep it short and sweet as, we, as some would say. Look, the sun... The sun, the sunlight hits the earth. It takes 800 seconds or five minutes and 20 seconds for it to hit the earth at its equator, causing it to spin at the terrific speed of 1,037 and a third miles per hour. The earth begins to rotate because of the light from the sun. In fact, the light from the sun touches all the planets in the universe and causes all of them to spin at a terrific speed. This is from the light of the sun, the majesty of the sun. Now the sun here represents knowledge. If the light from the sun didn't hit the earth, the earth wouldn't be productive. It wouldn't produce. You would call it a dead piece of the earth. Is that right? Where there is no motion, there's no water. Now you need water obviously too, because where there's no water, there's no light. So there's a combination of knowledge and water knowledge and wisdom <laughs> entering the body of the earth that causes it to spin and be productive. Those of us who are not productive, non-productive, we are considered mentally dead, spiritually dead, and we just uh, basically have a grave site awaiting us. I mean, there's nothing you can do. A person that's non-productive, what do you consider them? They're not useful, they're obsolete, they're dead. Is that right? Yeah. So again, life being synonymous, synonymous with time, life is like a fleeting moment on our planet. You know, I learn things. I'm not the author of what I speak, but life is like a fleet moment of our planet. It's like a vapor. Life is. It's here one day, going the next. And when in comparison, to how old the earth or life has been trillions and trillions and trillions of years ago 78 trillion years ago living to be 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 is nothing we're just glad if we can get to 70 and no I'm not 70 but we're glad and then we age so fast it is because of the foods that we eat, physically and mentally, the drinks that we drink, but physically and mentally, that causes us to age ourselves because your beauty is not in age, it's in your weight. You can get old and still be beautiful as you want, but you can't be obese and be as beautiful as you and I were meant to be. And so, I just wanted to share that with you, but we, we you know, we actually steal time by being non-productive. I mean, we have to produce and we have to make ourselves relevant to time. And so, as I was saying, light, knowledge, light creates motion, Motion creates time, and that's the order or the universal order of things. So I just wanted to share that little piece with you. Um, you know, take it for what it's worth. I appreciate each and every one that clicks the like button, the share, share, like, um, thumbs up, 
uh, it helps with the video. We're a new channel. We're new, we're just a few months old, but I appreciate you all hanging out with me. And so I want to leave you by saying have a peaceful rest of the night and a happy morning rise. That's wisdom. I learned that. Anyway, appreciate y'all. Hey, man, look, each and every one of you, be safe. Peace. I'm out. Thank you.